believe that is a keeping Nick simple. Hey, Nickel. <laughs> I've just called you Nickel. 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 Say something, you're on camera. I don't know, what do you want me to say? That's perfect. Uh so today is going to be fun. Um, this is going to be a cool unboxing video. I've got heaps of neat stuff turning up. So apart from cool stuff like bumblebee gobies and clown killifish, let's hope they turn up in the boxes. There's some Angolian elephant nose. They are freaking awesome little things. Um, they've got like a double snout compared to the single snout elephant nose that we had in the last video. Um, there's a whole lot of loaches turning up. So apart from regular cool striped coolie loaches, there should be some dwarf chain loaches as well as some really nice clown loaches. Um, oh, with the Tetris, oh, 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 we have some really nice hatchet fish hopefully turning up and some gold rummy nose. So gold rummy nose are like the albino version of a normal rummy nose. So freaking lovely. Still have the red nose to them, um, but they're a lovely gold whitey color as opposed to a brownie color. So awesome, awesome little fish. I also might have some red flag tails. So hopefully they will turn up as well, as well as some epistogramma. Um, and other things. So hopefully everything will turn up, but we will find out in a second. Whose legs are they? Whose legs are they? And our fish have arrived. We are going to unbox them, but I think that is worms. The legs are still there. They're not worms. They are giant ranchu. Look at the head on that. Okay, so ranchu. Huge buffalo ranchus. I guess they're called buffaloes because they taste like buffalo. Not entirely sure, probably the head. But these guys retail for 120 each. There is only two of them. Possibly you can get more if you would like some more. Look at the head on that. Yep, a little bit specialized to keep, but they are weird. Definitely weird. Okay, um, <laughs> wow. It's definitely got an unusual look to it. Um, yeah, there we go. So there are two of these available um, if you're into weird goldfish. They are kind of cool, a little bit specialized, so you don't want to mix them with common goldfish because it's going to take them a lot longer to get to the food because of their weird shape. Yeah. Here's box number two. What will be in this box? Oh, what will we start with? Let's go for that. That is an Angolian elephant nose. Look at its, oh, it's, it's breaching. It's breaching the surface with its double snout. That's pretty freaky. Very cool. The last ones of these we got were tiny. These ones are pretty big. So what's that? That's got to be about, oh, 10, 12, maybe 15 centimeters. Look at it. Look at it. That's a cool fish. So we're going to get these guys out. I think there's like four of them or so, maybe. Looks like there was only three of them, but three is better than none. I think we ordered five, but got three. They are huge. They've got to be like 12 centimeters at least. Um, so these guys are one of the 16 different species of elephant nose that you can get from Africa. Go by electricity, the same as the other ones. They need like live black worms and meaty foods like frozen blood worms to feed off. Um, very, very cool fish. These guys were discovered in, I think it's 1967. So not really that long ago, but there will be countless, countless cool elephant nose fish in Africa that still haven't been discovered because of wars and stuff around the river systems. But how cool are they? Look at their snouts. They've got a big bendy snout. I'm gonna pop them in the tank. Okay, and now we have flower loaches. Should be a couple of bags of these guys. They are super cool. They will grow huge. Takes them about 25 years, but they can get about 30 centimeters. Very, very awesome fish. They will get big enough to eat neons and stuff, obviously at 30 centimeters, but very cool, cool fish. They're like slightly acidic to neutral pH. So anything from six to seven, let's get them in a bucket. Clown loaches are freaking awesome. Look at them. Um, apparently they were discovered in 1852. What the crap? That is a long, long time ago. But then again, you can't really hide if you're like a really awesome looking fish, can you? Um, yes, these come from Indonesia. I think the islands of Borneo and Sumatra, I'm pretty sure. You might have to Google that to see if I'm right or not. But yeah, very, very cool fish. So we will 
go to the next ones. I see a beady eye. That looks like a flag tail. That is a flag tail. So apparently this is a red flag tail. They just lose all their color in the bags. I think there's like 10 of them. So there's obviously only a couple in this box, but the other boxes, there'll be a lot more. They are very cool Tetra from, um, pretty sure they're Tetra. I'm sure they're a Tetra, I'm gonna Google that. Tetra from South America, um, schooling fish. You wanna group of them ideally. They do have a little sucker mouth thing. Um, don't keep them with things like stingrays and delicate fish like that. Um, but they're really good with American cichlids and stuff. These guys get big as well, so like about 30 centimeters. Let's pop them in a thing. So apparently the flag tails are not tetras and Nick just turned up with some fish. So we have some keeping fish simple um, peppermints. We have more peppermints and we have some blue black rams. So these are the ones you want to breed together to get the black rams. So we got quite a few of those direct from the Nick who is apparently shy on camera. So <laughs> let's go to these guys in a... And there are the flag tails. What I might do, because they haven't coloured up and they're in a tank of white sand, is just jump to some Google images to show you what they look like. Or I might be really high tech and I might actually put an image on the screen now. So if there's an image on the screen now, that means I know how to edit a little bit better than I did before. But that is what they're gonna look like once they settle in. There are Nick's peppermints, so we got quite a few of these guys. I probably should do another special on them. Um, so if you do want them half price, so the price on the screen, from the dates on the screen, you just have to come in and say you are after some of the nickel, nickel peppermints. Nickel is a good word. Sorry, Nick, <laughs> he's going to kill me. Um, yeah, so until we run out of these guys, you can have them half price, which is 12.50 instead of 25 again. Um, very cool little fish. And these are Nick's black, blue black rams. So they are carrying the black knight gene. Uh, they are $36 each or two for 70. Only 20 available, but super cool fish. Okay, it looks like we have cootie loaches. Should be a couple of bags of these guys. Very, very cool stripy little fish. They are fish <laughs> or worms. They are not an eel, they are a loach, which is like a little peaceful, like a peaceful eel, you could call them. So let's grab these guys out. More cool loaches. These guys are from Indonesia and pretty awesome. And another box. I wonder what's in the blue. We're going to check the blue out. Oh, silver hatchet fish. Silver hatchet fish are freaking lovely. Look at them. Peaceful tetras that have like a big round belly that swim on the surface. Let's get them out. So that was a bit of a fail. There was only one bag and we only have nine hatchet fish. I'm pretty sure I ordered 25 or 30 of them to see what they were like. So one lucky customer might get nine hatchets if you hurry. We shall stick them in a the tank. I don't know which one to pick now because what if there's only one fish in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at that one. That one is, oh, Dwarf Chain Loaches. It does say, that's not a Dwarf Chain Loach, that's a Cooley Loach. Um, but that is a Dwarf Chain Loach, so confusing. Anyway, um, yes, we should have two bags of this. Let's hope for that. There should be 30 of these little guys. Perfect Dwarf Loach. They eat snails. They're not going to eat Tetris and stuff like clown loaches and reticulated loaches. So pretty cool little fish. Let's pop them in a tub. And there was 30 and they're cute and they're small and they're healthy. So instead of stuffing around with them in a bucket, we're going to go to wonderful Google and that is what they look like. So schooling fish, peaceful, eat snails, all round awesome. So they are dwarf chain loaches, lovely little things. And I'm back at the box. Maybe this bag this time. We have Clown Killifish. That is the right scientific name. Hurrah! They are very cool little fish. Um, yes, let's get them out. There should be two bags of these guys. Yep. Only 12 available. Ah, I did order more. It's not my fault. What are they? Gold Rummy Nose Tetris. There may be more than this bag. <laughs> let's hope. Oh, 
they do look like gold rummy nose as well. Okay, let's do a head count and get them in a bucket. So not only was there 30, but they are actually a decent size. So I'm gonna go straight into a tank with these because a flickering of my LED light will probably send a few of you guys crazy. Okay, if you are still with us, looks like we have Cardinal Tetras. So possibly a couple of bags of Cardinals, but we are starting to run low on bags of fish. Uh, I think there's more Cardinals. Um, looks like Bumblebee Gobies, so we're going to get them out at the same time. More Bumblebee Gobies. And then it looks like some Epistogramma pairs. So we... I think that's everything. Yes, so we will get them all out now. Bumblebee Gobies. They are awesome. They like a little bit of salt and alkaline pH, so you want a pH above 7.2 for these guys. We have the Epistogrammas, just males and females of those guys. And we also have Cardinal Tetras who are, let's go into the tanks. And the Cardinal Tetras are looking lovely. Um, all around nice fish. So like a neon, but they have the solid red through the bottom of them. Um, if we go up the top, there they are. There are the hatchet fish. So again, we only got nine of these guys in. I did order a lot more, but if you're quick, you can probably get some freaky little cool fish, aren't they? So they'll swim up the top of most tanks and yeah, just a nice peaceful tetra. And if we go next door, we have the rummy nose. So they haven't got their red noses yet. There's a few of the old normal ones. They're not old, they're just last weeks. But see how the normal ones are brown? These ones are more of a glowing white color, but they will still get the red on the nose as well. And they'll still get the stripy tail, it just won't be as strong. So they're gonna be a pretty cool fish. And there is a Elephant nose, gone. The problem is, there's too many awesome fish. Look at that. Such a nice catfish. It is not easy to take a video without the reflection stuffing it up, but those are the blue black rams. Pretty cool little guys. Don't, that is a young male. Pretty sure there's males and females. Yep, there's a girl. So yeah, if you want some of these guys, be quick. They are cool little fish. And there are the Epistogramma Borelii, or Borelli, however you want to pronounce them. Shy male and some females. That might be as good as we're gonna get in this video. And congratulations to making it to the end of the video. Because you've made it this far, I'm gonna do 10% off all the fish in the shop if you mention the word nickel. So nickel is your code word. Is it a code word? It's a code word. Um, to get 10% off any fish till Sunday. So from this date here to this date here. Just mention this name here, which is Nickel, and you get 10% off. Easy as that. 10% off is pretty much for any fish in the shop and even fish that already got a discount and stuff to them. So enjoy. Let's see who watches the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, obviously you probably clicked the thumbs up thingy. If you haven't, please click the thumbs up thingy and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. All my lights are turning off, but we will see you in the next video. Bye.